guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. It's a hundred degrees outside. It's just too it's too hot to fly. We're not gonna do it. So we're gonna watch you guys fly. That's right, this is Community Spotlight. I'm Ladrib and I'm joined by a special guest, Maker I'm Maker Reactra. Reactra. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't that was like perfectly that. in time. Now you're a little bit more of like a racing pilot, right? Yeah, I race, but I've watched Community Spotlight a few times and the videos are incredible, but we're going to shift this a little bit and include a little bit of racing, a little bit of cinema looping, change it up. We hear you, we see the comments, we see you guys saying, hey, you choose a lot of the same people over and over. So we brought someone fresh in, fresh set of eyes, fresh perspective, and I think we're going to have some, uh, some some surprises for you here. And some fresh categories. But we got to start off with the old reliable, good old freestyle. So the first video we're going to get in, into today is by Gunwoo. This is a young pilot from, I believe, South Korea? But wherever he is, look at this crazy spot he's flying. Yeah, I'm I like, love the environment. Yeah, it's like, this is like the dream grid. There's so many levels here. It, and with the tricks he's doing, it almost gives it a kaleidoscope effect when he goes Yes, <laughs> definitely. I'm almost like, which way is up <laughs> and down here? I would, I think I'd get lost there, but he's hitting He's hitting like all the little gaps too. Like he got up even between the pipe and the ceiling too. I feel like I could just session here for hours on end, just finding every which way to yeah. like blend power loop, to flip so back to, to whatever. Do. Like really creative. Yeah, this guy is no joke. This video is really fun to just watch the whole thing. There'll be a link in the description to Gun Woo's channel and the channels of every pilot we're featuring here today. So next up, we're gonna move it on to Sync. FPV Sync has been doing some really impressive stuff lately. Have you been, have you been following him much? No, I don't know. This is the first video I've seen of his. So oh, oh man, look at this. So what I like, he he's doing like some of that crazy Maddie stuff, and this is like taking it to kind of like that that like hammer level where I feel like he's he's chucking his quad all the way across this parking yeah, lot. Yeah, the hang time. And then look, so he's oh. trying to he's trying to like power loop and then do that kind of inverted split S flip back through the gap though. And I really like how come on. Oh! Oh! Oh, so, oh, he crashed, but I it love It doesn't matter. It happens. I love how we're seeing the like progression. He was showing us every attempt like I yeah. feel like that's a real like skateboard thing where you watch someone that's like going for one of those really tough tricks and you just watch them like hit the handrail over and over and over, just slam, 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 when they finally get it, it's like super it's gratifying. And speaking of skateboarding, I've got another video here. They're actually flying around a skate park. This is Pistol Mystic FPV. Do you ever skate much? No, I rollerblade, that, oh. that's about it though. Did, but did you like go to skate parks or anything? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of FPV pilots did come from a bit of a skateboard background, so like seeing like that last video was kind of edited like a skate video and then seeing a park shredded like this, like that's always really fun for me. And I like how he's like playing off the ramps, you know. Yeah, like it's almost like he's skating. Up. Yeah. And here we got Digi FPV. He says he's flying FPV proxy juice. It's pretty juicy. It's just a little juicy, definitely. I'm waiting to see some proximity though. He's definitely got the juice thing down, like yeah. that, that flip back and yeah. forth. Yeah, it's cool to see this kind of. I think more people are calling this sabang now. Ooh, a little oh. Maddie work in there. It's cool to see it done around more stuff. But, I mean, I think that's the difficult part. You're gonna flip this way, that way, and then yeah. boom, into a tree. Lose control. Or don't know what you're gonna be running into because you can't see. Yeah, you're always like flying backwards. <laughs> I like how it's a mix of speed, though. You see like some slow, and then you have it fast. And... Yeah, it's definitely like a time warp. It's like bang, bang, yeah. bang, and then up when he was doing that hang right over and you saw the cars going. It yeah. was like, kind of like this whoosh. Was, that was really on beat. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed it does kind of line up with the beat of the, the rhythm yeah. of the music. Yeah, it's either well edited or well flying. Yeah, probably both. A little bit of editing, a little bit of flying. Okay, this guy goes by Long. I've heard Low of this NG. pilot. Have yeah, you? I've yeah. never seen this guy before. I've seen his stuff before. I'm pretty sure. So what I love is that he starts this clip with the third person clip. So this clip is captioned backwards, oh. knife edge, wall grind. And look, yeah, you can see the can third see the person drone. is doing it. And then I think we get the drone's perspective. Yep. Boom. That was a forward wall ride. Where's the backwards? Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, but I like seeing the whole line, so it wasn't just that one clip, like, took it into a flow then. I like this me too. Do you? <laughs> I immediately started moving when you did. Let's do it again. What do we got? Is that another quad? Yeah. This is a really yeah. cool line. Starting off with a banger trick, going to some flow around the grid, got like a quick chase in there. This is a nice line. Next category. Uh, moving on to the next category, what do we got? 
Our next category is cine whooping because I love to cine whoop and it's all about location, location, location on this category. Okay. The next up is aerial photography, Ireland. What's your filming? And this is actually Conor McGregor's pub. Like the fighter? Yeah. He owns a pub? Yeah. So I thought it was really unique. Is that why he's always getting in fights? <laughs> Drinking too much? This is a sick video. Yeah, it's all one video, take. Though. Is it? Yeah, what? I'm pretty sure it's all one take. That was really cool with the fire, though. Yeah. You see so many of these, these really impressive one takes lately, you, you almost forget to uh, remember just how, how cool it is and how difficult it is to do that. Um, but, but you I know, think you're a always, lot of them write storyboards for it. Yeah, I mean, and that's I think what it Maybe takes to take it director. to that next level. You know, coming up with something unique like having that fire, having that guy tossing the yeah. pizza. You know, this isn't just a fly through. Like you've got a lot of a uh, lot of uh, choreography here. Mm -hmm. Choreography? How do you choreography, say? Choreography. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. I want the, Give me the beer. So I don't know. Maybe more people went and visited his pub after this video. I, I hope we got him some traffic. All right, who we got next? Well, it's FPV at the International Space Station. What? <laughs> well, not really. FPV at the museum. What? But pretty sweet, huh, to get permission to do this. Where is this? It's Beto FPV, he's really big. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. He's getting to fly around to Space Center It's great museum editing thing. with the transitions fast and slow so you don't have to watch the boring stuff too Oh, long. this is so awesome. Oh my gosh, is there an astronaut sitting in there? <laughs> I didn't see that. You didn't see that? Oh, Look at that. Yeah. And he's eating popcorn. That is such an amazing touch. I really like the speed ramping they're mm -hmm. doing here. A lot of the one take speed ramps I see, I don't, I don't know, it doesn't usually work for me. This is like perfect. Maybe it's, it's it just, sort of like a space shuttle, like the movement. I think maybe it know? has to do with the, the, the subject matter. I think also the song helps, but I also think just um, the timing. I think these were really well-timed speed ramps. It yeah. didn't ever feel like, I feel like sometimes when you see those speed ramps, like I know you're just trying to skip past the boring stuff. Yeah. But this I didn't feel that, that way. This no. I felt like you just like, boom, boom, like kind of was grooving. Got Go Karts and Bowling Alleys by Alf D FPV. Yeah, we just raced a uh, tiny whoop race at a go kart place, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to chase the cars, so I had to pick this one because <laughs> I couldn't do it. So I'm living vicariously through him. But he's starting all the way at the entrance, so do they actually coordinate? With people on the track, all with a flight starting all the way outside the building. That's a good That's, question. That is some impressive uh, foresight. And the sound effects. I like the sound effects. Ooh, that is. Whoa! Oh! 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 That was close. Oh, that was. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. That seemed like. That seemed really close. <laughs> That's cool. Cut the corner. That's cool. That one, that one bit made it for me that all of a sudden you just saw the car like come into yeah. frame. That was either some amazing planning or you, yeah. you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> this one I just thought was really unique. It's airsoft. Okay, so Will Ho is doing cine whooping around an airsoft match. Yeah. Do you and ever shoot the drum? I don't play airsoft, but my husband does, and he's been wanting me to play for so long, but mm -hmm. I just don't want to be shot at. Yeah, um, it doesn't so sound So I would me. do this. Yeah, maybe you could do this. You could, <laughs> and then where you guys could still spend time together, mm -hmm. but you don't have to get shot, but your drone might get shot. I don't know. <laughs> that is true, but I will take the chance. All right, what's next? We got some more whoops. Well, we have another whoop category, this time tiny whoops. And we have oh, some like racing. The micros. Yeah, okay. the, the 1S, typically 2S drones with the ducks, the small ones. Super fun, super great way to get an FPV because they're just so, like, I don't know, low low consequence, you know? Yeah, you, you can, you the can, worst case is maybe getting it stuck in someone's hair. Yeah, a video from T-Dog. He is a racer. Whoops in Wonderland. You'll see why very soon, I'm sure. This is an amazing course. Yeah. I think that's something that's really like a big part of the Tiny Whoop community is building these insane, lit up, just magical race courses. Um, they, they just create such amazing visuals like. Yeah, those are the Wee Bleed Gates. We, we've flown with him a few times. He makes his own gates and then um, we flew weekly tiny uh -huh. whoop races and we would set up and build our own gates Stuff and like this, full man. LEDs, yes. yep. I feel We'd like that's create. basically half the half the hobby for them is like yeah. coming up with creative ways to I mean those spiral gates, that's next level. This is really cooking, man. No, he's fast. Wow. He's he's one of the faster pilots this in tiny whoop. This is a one S 
This this quad is like a four volt quad just shredding. <laughs> so that last one is from racing. Looks like you brought me some freestyle after yeah, all. You did bring I had me some to. more freestyle. I felt guilty with so many racing videos that I found you a freestyle tiny boot video. <laughs> this, is, this is SRK. I do think that uh, freestyle with the micro whoops is really difficult. Um, a lot of the freestyle maneuvers that we do, like the split S's and, and things like that, they struggle with not getting in these yes. wobbly oscillations. Right. So um, when you see someone do it, you guys, if you're not as familiar, if you're not as familiar with tiny whoops, you might not realize just how much skill it takes to do some clean, flowy freestyle with these little baby drones. Little right baby. now, they're having an in-game of whoop. Okay. I don't know if you heard of that. No. It's really a freestyle whoop competition. So okay. they have weekly challenges. There's so many pilots in it right now. I couldn't give you the number though. Just a lot and they have their challenge and they have to submit it and they can move on to the next week and next week oh, and finally okay. there'll be a champion of In Game of Whoop. This Tiny Whoop video is by AK who is... It's not just AK, it's AK! I know, right? <laughs> he Don't is one of the best whoopers in the country. He's yeah. cooking! Yeah. And he takes such a small place and fits so many gates in there. Yeah, you're right. This is just one room, isn't yeah. it? I didn't even kind of realize at first because he's cooking with so much speed and going through so many gates but they just packed them all in there. So I, look, you can do that at your house. You can yeah. make some gates for yourself or find some natural gates. Get yeah. yourself some tiny boot gates. Yeah, I mean, it starts to get pretty crazy when you light them up and all that stuff, but some of these more basic gates are really inexpensive, so you can have a lot of fun in a small space and make some like really intense courses. Like Again, this is just why it's such a great way for people getting into it, because if you don't feel like you don't have great spots around or you know you may be nervous to go out and fly a bigger expensive quad at a spot like you can take this little drone that's much less expensive and just set it up in your own place and just like shred and i live in maine and we have a really long winter so we spend a lot of time tiny yeah, the whooping. whoop season yeah. is real right yeah, yeah we're about getting in the whoop season here with it being 100 degrees yeah. like it's getting so hot we're staying inside to fly whoops all right my favorite category women who drone this is nerd bird fpv who was in a female freestyle competition not too long ago, and she placed in it, she podiumed. Okay. Like, oh, here we go, it. yeah! Oh! So, you have to watch a lot of her video, because you'll see some mind-bending tricks where you're like, what did she just do? That was sweet. With Between the Limbs. Yeah, like, between yeah. it, and then to turn it into a trippy spin, yeah, that was pretty sick. Leo on Fire is a racer. She's actually in Drone Champions League with me. She's on X-Blades. Um, but I saw this video she put out chasing this plane. And I've done this a few t once or twice and I loved it's it. It's pretty difficult so, though, right? Yeah, she gets really close she, and she holds it for nice. so long. It looks like a nice plane too. I like chasing the little foamy planes, like the foamy wings, because if I hit it, I don't feel too bad. I'm like, eh, it's only a foam wing. I'm not going to damage it, but this looks like a like a plane you might not want to hit. No. Yeah, air to air is always really fun. These air to air shots are one of the, the, the first things that like really drew me to FPV, like back in the day, seeing flight test stuff. Oh, we got the Here smoke! We, go. we got the yeah. smoke! All right, this is Steph FPV. She's a racer as well. Okay. But, but she's chasing bikes. And she's also a Drone Champions League pilot. She flies on Team Raidens. Nice. So. Oh, she's, she's your competition. It's hard to find female freestyle pilots. Is it? That, yeah, that post a lot consistently. I mean, I think that's probably why I haven't seen more uh, women pilots is I pay so much more attention to freestyle than the racing side yeah. of things. I think I miss out on some good pilots, which I'm really glad that you're here and uh, showing me some of these pilots because, yeah, there's some real talent here. And I mean, she may she may have come up in the racing scene, but I think she's really good at this chasing stuff here and could could definitely continue to uh, play with more of the cinematic sort of thing. Hey there, Blue Owl. Now I know, you know her? I know Blue Owl. She, she is, won. She is the so impressive. Yeah, she won the uh, the ripping ovaries contest, yes. right? And you think I fly high camera tilt? Yeah, no, she flies like 65, right? 65 degrees. Yeah, she hasn't posted in a while, and I really missed her no. videos. So Blue Owl, if you're out there. Um, we'd love to see some new videos from you. I know it's it's hard to keep up with uh, with flying and posting, but even if you're not posting, I hope you're still ripping because you are seriously talented. And I wanted to share this because I was hoping it might push her to start flying more. It's another we'll video. See. It's really smooth too. You know, you see like Maddie tricks you have to do with so much power to to kind of catch yourself in that backwardsness that. Uh, you, sometimes you get in that prop wash or it gets jerky because yeah. you're like getting really aggressive with the throttle but she seems to have like a lot of authority over yeah. it that like as she's getting into that drop part of the Maddie, not being too aggressive with the throttle and being able to pull out nice and smooth, I love it. Now, 
I had never heard of this pilot, Trilly FPV. Me and either. I just found her. She flies a lot of bandos. This is a sweet bando. This yeah. is making me miss Detroit. <laughs> and she kind of skates. Yeah, I like it. I mean, got the, we got this like kind of hip hop yeah. music, shredding up the bando. This definitely has kind of a skate vibe. This spot looks so fun. I know. Where are you at, Trilly? I want to come fly this spot. Yes. Really great video, though. Our next category is <laughs> another racing. one of my favorite. It's actually probably my favorite category. <laughs> yeah, you're really into the racing stuff. <laughs> it's, and it's the racing Like category. I said, I just really don't watch a lot of racing videos, so I'm glad that you grabbed me and you're like, no, you're going to watch some of these fast pilots. So this one's a nice segue, actually, because the last category is women who drone, and this is a female drone racer. Rue, FPV. I've flown with Rue a few times. She is arguably the fastest female in the United States. Really? One of the fastest in the world. And she's a teammate of mine. We're both on Quad Force One together. Nice. I like um, that she's putting some subtitles over the video mm -hmm. so that you also get a little bit of story with the race yep. a lot, and with the times so that you're saying like, okay, you're taking the first lap conservatively and, and you're seeing how, oh, now that she's got the paths down, you're gonna ramp it up, ramp it up, ramp it up. It's getting, it's getting pretty aggressive here. And this is the global qualifier track for multi-GP. So like, her time's time, going down every time, yeah. 15, 14. <laughs> her time's getting, logged on the leaderboard. Okay. And she has, she had the fastest female time. Now she has the second fastest. She is, but now they have are you neck flown neck. this specific track? Because it's a qualifier track. track. Is it yes. hard? It looks kind of hard. It's not too bad, honestly. There's no dive gate. Um, so it, it's really not too bad. I would say it's intermediate. Yeah. In level. Modern day circus. Modern day circus. So this, I would have been at, the, I missed this race. This is a local chapter race. Uh -huh. And this pilot is Pino 151. This race called Modern Day Circus was based on a circus. So you can see the track has these weird kind of curves to it almost, look at this. Almost circus-like, you're going in these circles yeah. a Yeah, and I like this like funky song, yeah. kind of vibing out. Yeah, they had rappers at the event. Really? So, That's fun. Yeah, and Pino actually has been on Spotlight before. Oh. He dove a cell tower once. Oh, I remember that video. Yeah. New Bando Playground, what's this? Is this a racing at Bando? Yes, what? and he clearly has a command for his drone because he is doing that over concrete. Yeah. This is Stickman FPV. I love that <laughs> element, the ladder. Yeah. That's, got, is that, that's one of the hardest ones, I think, and you don't always get an opportunity to uh, to practice those because it looks like it's like a really difficult one to put together. Yeah. So I don't think a lot of courses end up having that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of confidence to be racing at these speeds mm -hmm. over concrete. V impressive, Stickman, V impressive. Freedom Spec, okay, so you picked out a Freedom Spec video. That's really cool. I think Freedom Spec is really cool. That's, uh, let me know if I'm gonna explain this right. It's where they have kind of heavier quads on three cell Yeah, Yep, they're flying three cell, yeah. And I think this is what we used when we did our last uh, racing video with Vanover. We did. It slows the racing down, makes you have to uh, control your momentum a lot more, right? I mean, like, what it do you, what do you think? It makes the race so much tighter. Mm -hmm. He was racing against Propsicle, Neukel, and Evan Turner, of course, and this is Hyper, and he ended up winning um, and be Evan at his own, you know. At his own spec. His own game. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, look, at, so look at how long these battle battles are, right? Forth, they midair. Just forces and them to be closer together. I love it. It's fun to watch. It's a lot more fun to watch sometimes. And they had announcers, and this was live stream, so it was it was really entertaining. Okay. I mean, I, I think if I were gonna spend more time doing racing, this is what I'd want to do. Something where it like just makes it a little more slower, makes everyone closer together. I mean, the the full speed. Like really aggressive racing is always impressive to watch, but it's just it's just so much, and I just feel like you're not you're not really going to be competitive. But this makes it so that like have more fun doing and get into more of those battles, which I think is the best part of racing. Yeah, it kind of has a freestyle look to it. Too, yeah, doesn't it? Who it is? All right, this is Propsicle, and this is his global qualifier time, so you can kind of see. Wait, now is this the same track that we saw from the other pilot? Yes, the first pilot. Okay, is it the same location or so no, they? No, different locations. But they so, set up the same track. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just a little We have racing. to measure it out to spec and submit that, and then we're able to run the qualifier. Okay, so that means that pilots from all over the country can compete against each other World. on a track all over the world. Oh, so it is global. Yeah. So that means that even though they're not together, they can still compete against each other like in a time trials format. Okay. All right guys, we're moving on to our last category and that is cinematic. I wanted to end this one on a beautiful note. So we've got Virgin FPV oh. with his 2020 reel. You picked this one out. Virgin, yes. He uh, won the Boston oh. Drone Film Festival. I've met him a few times that. and since he won, he's been traveling and doing these epic balloon flights 
jumpers. Wow, yeah. he's gotten a lot Parachuters, of amazing opportunities here. But he's really made the most of it too. I mean, these are great shots. Those camera settings are just yeah. dialed in perfect. You got just the right amount of motion blur, that sunset coming in, so gorgeous. Did you get even to chase wingsuiters? That's yeah. sick. Because that's like human FPV. Right? That stuff, oh man. There's a lot of things that you know I, I look forward to trying in the future, but wingsuits mm -hmm. might be where I draw the no. line. I mean, that, I mean, I know it's very much like FPV, but like, you see these people shooting gaps, and I'm like, dude, if you hit that, you don't just have to replace a motor. Like, you're, you're dead. Yeah, you can crash <laughs> your drone. You can't. You can't crash. <laughs> okay, this is LFPV. I love getting to see different parts of the world through the lens of FPV. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just such a unique way to experience it with these dynamic angles. And, and I mean, I've gotten to do a lot of really exciting traveling, but I mean, I've, I've never been to Switzerland, and I just to, to feel like I get to do a, a, get a taste of it like this and see um, such a beautiful place yeah, flowing landscape. so well. It's really cool. I like that transition and speed up. Yeah, That's perfect on, on the beat too. Yeah. What? I'm just going off the title here. What? Did he really? Yes, this is... A volcano! You got to fly a volcano! What? How does the drone even survive the heat? He, he goes pretty much right over it. But... That's oh. incredible. And I love the sound effects with it. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 um, beautifully. The sound engineering is great. And look at the lava. Is that actually what it sounds like? Do you really get that like know. that like that rumble? I, I would have, imagine that's what it sounds volcano. like. <laughs> I really love the colors because in the in the smoke and the gas coming off the lava, I mean, it's, it almost looks blue, right? And the contrast against the red glow yeah. is just uh, really uh, it's really sharp. I like seeing the the movement of the lava. That just doesn't look real. No. That doesn't look real, dude. That's so sick. That's so sick. I mean, yeah, I, I just, I don't understand how it's not overheating and just going, boop, just dropping right in now, there. No, we don't know if he lost a drone doing this. Oh my gosh, this was shot with, this was shot with the DJI drone uh, and a GoPro strapped to the top of it. Okay, so he did have GPS, but gosh, that drone's made out of plastic. How did it not just know. melt? Oh, okay, this is, I love flying over water, so. I thought this was really neat. We got Dennis Shelmes chasing a, a stream here. It's cool because it's like the water's flowing downhill, so it's got uh, it's obviously moving pretty fast. So you, you get that that kind of like white water effect where it's you know breaking up. Yeah, you get the bird sound effects. Yeah, really well, uh, really well done with the sounds. Is that a cow? <laughs> I think that was I, a cow. I, I heard that cow. I oh, see so he's putting it in now. I like mm -hmm. I like we're getting some more of that that whooshing sound as he's going back down the yeah, hill. Yeah, getting closer. Oh, this I like. Now I'm liking it. He's really getting close to it. This is sick. Yeah, I love flying low to the water, so this mm -hmm. I enjoy. Yeah, really beautiful work on this one. Who's this? Nathan, Nathan McBride. Mc A cinematic look of Greece. More of this water stuff. You really yeah, like the I water really stuff, like, huh? <laughs> yes. What's it, the risk? It's just beautiful. Yeah. Rapids, calm waters, all of it. Waterfalls. Oh gosh, that cove is so pretty. I like that reveal shot a lot, where he was kind of zoomed into the uh, into the water and then pulled out to reveal the boat. I love this part. This oh, this is very. That yeah. feels very like Inceptiony. Yeah. Oh yeah, he uses a lot of people throughout this video. I thought yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, so he's got people actually yeah. positioned on the high mm -hmm. points. It's pretty great. I'd be a little nervous standing up yeah. there, like, don't hit me, <laughs> don't hit me. Well, uh, looks like I gotta visit Greece, cause yeah, Greece, Ireland. Where else do we watch? Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, I really like, I really like how he has the uh, the people position because I, I think it kind of helps with that sense of scale too. You know? Yeah, that's true. Like I know how big a human is. I, I don't know exactly how big that cove is. Oh no, that's no. a nice little dive. Yes, chase it, there chase it, chase it, chase it. Ooh, nice with the the whoosh sound effects. Yeah, he did it. There. Oh, back nice of the boat. Nice transition. I think it's my favorite one so far. This video is awesome. It beats the volcano? Um, <laughs> I mean, the volcano as a location is probably just the craziest thing I've ever seen, but I think there, there's more variety here. Mm -hmm. Like, the vol watching the volcano is immediately jarring, but this, flying a lot of different locations, mixing in different styles with both the flip over, some of the cruises, like, it, I like this one, I think, because it has a little bit more of like a freestyle feel, like, yeah. especially with shooting some of these gaps, so. 
So guys, that is gonna do it for this edition of Community Spotlight. I definitely found some new pilots to follow. I hope you guys did too. There are links in the description to all of their channels, Instagrams, or whatever we can find for them. And uh, definitely show them some love. Stop by, watch some of their videos, give them some likes. Mako, thanks for uh, joining us today and bringing us these pilots. Really enjoyed checking them out. And if you wanna see more of Mako, There'll also be a link in the description to her channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ladrib. I'm Mako Riatra. This has been Community Spotlight, and we will see you next time on Rotorize.